Hi friends, I'm Lusty. I know I haven't made a video in a while. Oops. <laughs> um, I've been trying to in the past three weeks. I've just been like mostly recording other videos, so I will be able to make videos more frequently now. And I'm making one today, so that's good. But I did that, so hopefully I won't be so like stressed about video ideas or what to make. So for this video, I'm going to do OC drawing prompts, and these are just like the ones that you find on Pinterest where they're just like, draw your OC like sleeping, I don't know, that was a bad example, but it's just stuff like that, so I'm just going to be doing some of those because I thought that would be kind of fun to try. And before I did that, I had to first actually like draw my OC, I guess. I, OC stands for original character, and it's like the main character essentially in like a comic usually, and I don't have a comic, but I have a lot of stories, I guess, because I like to write in my free time, so I do have characters that I can use, so I just figured I would draw one of those characters. And this character, I've, I've drawn her many times before, so I have like... A good idea of what she looks like. Her name is Kiwi. Um, I draw her in like a different style, I guess, than I draw my other characters. Uh, I don't know why. I guess just like the way I draw her, there's a few different like elements, um, which I guess you'll see. Well, one of them you can already see. Usually, when I draw noses, they're just the kind of like anime, like one line, but I. I usually give her like a more kind of realistic nose, and then the other thing I do is I put like lines in her hair, like everywhere, just just tons of lines, and I'm not sure why I do that. That's just that's just something I do. Um, so those are those are the main things I do differently, but you can see it's a little bit of a different style. Um, when I start doing the shading, you can also see I use a lot more shading, like blendy kind of shading, than I do for my other characters. Um, especially on her face, I give her a lot more realistic kind of like blush kind of shading um, than I than I do with anyone else. But this is this is how I draw my main character, and. Um, when I was drawing this, her like skin color was very light, and so I tried to change it, but then it just made the shading look terrible. So I ended up fixing it um, without recording that part because it took me a while to get all the shading back to like where it was supposed to be. I also tried to give her hair highlights, which I ended up having to do off camera because that wasn't working also. So those are just like a few things that, that I did. You can see I'm making her skin darker, but um, it ended up like the shading just looks bad. Okay, so then off camera I did all this stuff. I copy and pasted um, drawings that I previously had of her clothes and her body and stuff. And I just wanted to kind of talk about like when you're designing a character or when I'm designing a character, what I try to do. So mainly what I like to focus on is... Um, where do they live, essentially, I think is the biggest thing, because that determines what they look like and what they wear, usually. So this character, she lives in, like, a warm, tropical climate, which means that her, like, skin and hair are probably darker, because your skin has more, like, melanin if you live in a warmer place, because then, um, you will be more resistant to, like, sun damage. So that's the thing that I think about a lot also their clothes usually are based on the materials that are there unless there's like um <laughs> you know globalization and just like big global markets where everyone wears the same clothes but typically in like fantasy stories there's not um so those are the things that i mainly think about and i just wanted to kind of show that before i actually started doing the um challenges like the premise of the video um so that's just like something I do that you should think about, in my opinion, when you're designing a character. And I just wanted to just show that here. 
Alright, so well, we are moving on to the next parts of the drawing. Um, and one of the main things that I saw, so first of all I wanted to uh, only use the ones for number 10 because I figured that would limit it more and I was doing this on June 10th. And uh, one of the main ones I saw um, the most frequently was draw your character in a chibi style, which I thought that was um, that was interesting because a lot of the other ones were not similar to that whatsoever, but that was a very common one that I saw. So uh, <laughs> basically the chibi style is just very like cute and like the head is very exaggerated and the eyes and usually from what I've seen um, it's used to show like more emotion just like really angry or really happy or something like that so I wanted to kind of do that and for the shading I made it blue I'm not sure why I think it looks bad I wish I had done the shading differently but oh well and then um, the other one that I saw a lot, uh, very commonly was to draw, um, your OC with another OC, which I thought that was also interesting, um, but I saw that one three times in the 15 that I got, so it was like one-fifth of them, so I was like, okay, I have to do that, um, and I didn't know if they meant a character from the same story or from a different story, um, so I used a character from the same story, who is not as much of a main character, but is still a main character. Um, and I wanted to kind of show... Uh, she's the more, like, excited one. She's trying to, like, make them be friends and um, be very enthusiastic. And then Kiwi is just kind of like, what are you doing? <laughs> and uh, she's just kind of like really bored and she's just staring off into space. I thought that would make it look um, kind of more interesting. This was incredibly difficult because of how small it was. I didn't realize while I was doing it, it's actually like, it's very, very small. Um, and so it was the inking ones. I had to use a very, very small pen. When I zoom out, you can tell it's like I was drawing at such a small size that, like, the coloring and inking was very, very difficult, so I wish I had done this in a different, um, a different drawing, but this is what they look like all together, so I have my character on the right side, and then on the left side I have the two that I drew, um, so I hope, I hope this video was fun, make sure to subscribe and like the video and all the stuff that people say, um, yeah. I'll make another video in like a few days probably.